Graduation season is a time when millions of families celebrate the accomplishments of their loved ones. But every year, some Hollywood celebrities find a way to make graduation about them. They give preening commencement addresses filled with all the politically correct buzzwords. What's their advice to new graduates? Be a liberal, of course. And while we're all used to those tired platitudes, Oprah's commencement address last weekend hit a level that surprised even us. You are the generation that is forced to depend on body cams to obtain justice. You've witnessed the storming of the Capitol and the death of civility. You're acutely aware that voting rights are being gutted, women's rights are being dismantled, books are being banned, history is being rewritten, the Supreme Court is being corrupted, the debt ceiling is being held hostage, the climate is changing, the LGBTQ community, LGBT plus community is under attack. We live on a planet where there is more than enough wrong to keep you busy trying to make things right for the rest of your natural life. Wow, really aspirational, <laughs> uplifting there, Oprah. <laughs> she used to give her audience cars. Now she's giving her audience a woke sermon. Tommy Lahren is the host of Tommy Lahren is Fearless. Jimmy Failure, he sparkles this evening, Look host of Fox Across America. They both are in studio with hey, us. Hey, hey. Now, you know, Jimmy, I did not have on my bingo card you being the sparkliest one in the room tonight. But yeah. you, you made is this it. a fashion intervention? I feel like you just jumped me it right is. out of the gate. I, I, be, to be clear, I do dress like an overweight figure skater, but it, it buys me the <laughs> support of the audience. They're like, I love this guy's routine. He's going to do a triple lots. That Oprah speech was the greatest buzz kill in yeah. the history of graduation speeches. I, I mean, imagine yeah. this. Like, you are a college kid, broke. You don't have a job. And some celebrity who doesn't have the self-awareness to realize the ridiculousness of a billionaire flying in on a private jet to yell at you about right. climate change. Right. Like, yo, read the room, Oprah. Like, does she go to a starving village and lecture them about the dangers of obesity? I'm like, <laughs> it's not an option. Do you understand? I mean, half these kids probably, like, pregame for this, and then they go and show up, and they're like, what am, where am I? She also did this in Tennessee, yep. which I am a resident of Tennessee, so I don't know how well it went over, but we know that college anymore is not about education. It's about yeah. activism, and just what we need are more activists in society. You know, we look around, we have a worker shortage, we have low test scores, and we think what we really need on the streets are more activists caring about climate change and abortion, and that's what Oprah wanted to preach, but I think it's really a missed opportunity. Imagine being one of those students, looking at a woman that's one of the most successful women in television, right? Billion air. Mm -hmm. And she's lecturing you about climate change. Why not spend that time to teach those students how they can become billionaires? Oh, I'm man. pretty sure Oprah's pathway was not climate change, but maybe <laughs> I'm mistaken. Yeah, I, I think you're right. You know, Jimmy, it's oh. amazing. You can't go anywhere without being beaten over the head with liberalism. Like they changed the name of a stadium to Climate Pledge Stadium, and then you go in and you have Bud Lights with Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah, I yeah. mean, like, what is going on? No, it's infuriating because here's the other thing, too. If this was the other way around and the conservative speaker showed up and was like, boost domestic energy, yeah. secure the yeah, border, right. oh. there would have been a riot. We've got that for you. Uh. We've got that. I don't know if you call him conservative, but you call him practical and logical. Check this out. Kansas City Chiefs, Harrison oh, I love this. Butker. Mm -hmm. The world is filled with miserable, smart, capable, and hardworking people. There are too many examples to list of people who have achieved great worldly success and fleeting happiness but in the end are unfulfilled. I can offer one controversial antidote that I believe will have a lasting impact for generations to come. Get married and start a family. <laughs> Something Tommy oh. Lahren did the first uh, part so far. The first part. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I will tell you this. There's also a country music singer, singer named Cody Johnson, right? He did yep. a concert recently, and he sang a song, which is a traditional song, country song, Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up To Be Cowboys, but he changed it, Mama Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up To Be Babies. And I think, oh. you know, he said what he said, and that's the absolute truth. We need more people out there willing to educate college kids about the reality of life, not abortion, not climate change, not race. Get these people ready to actually work, not do bare minimum Mondays, not quiet quitting, not cancel <laughs> culture, do something, produce something, be an yes. active member of society. But there's not a whole lot of speakers that are willing to put that out there. This is why you got to go to a commencement speech at my community college, <laughs> yes. where they bring in a guy, he's like, he won 50 bucks in a dice game. Give it up. Give it up You know what guy. else we need? We need more men in sparkly jacket. Thank you. Like Jimmy Failure. Hey, girl. All right. Tommy Laren, Jimmy Failure. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our 
hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.